Hey guys, Fishing Bricks 20 here with another update. And as you can tell, there is a new aquascape. I have a new rock, I think it's like 10, 12 pounds. So, um, this side is basically pretty much all the same. Uh, just the same pile of rocks, really the only difference is uh, this ledge, and that's a ledge too, you can see it's a ledge sticking out. So um, yes, there is new corals in there and a rose bubble, I'll get to that in a minute. But um, yeah, basically this is all the same, a little shrimpy. So. Over here, is, on the other hand, is a new story. It goes all the way up almost to the water surface. It's got pretty much a lot of cool stuff. The uh, green bubble decided to settle there. There's a huge cave in here, as the Melanaris likes. See, there he goes. And then he'll probably come out over there. <laughs> but, um, yep, there he is. Uh, there's just a ton of new stuff crevices and stuff in there. You can go through that hole, that hole, that hole, that hole. It all leads to the same cave. It took me about three hours to finish this whole aquascape because I went for the most coral placement. See, I mean, as you can tell, nothing is over, nothing is stacked on top of each other. It's a gradual incline so that all these corals can be placed and still get light. There's coral placement here. Not so much right there, but I, you know, I might add some more rock later. There's plenty all along the top of that, which I'm sure I'll add more rock in the future, but as of right now, it looks pretty awesome. I think the base structure is probably going to stay the same. It's just mostly the top I'll fiddle around with, so. Um, getting on to the livestock. Still got Mr. Yellow Tang. The Melanaris you already saw. Uh, Mr. Gobi here, probably the, I think he's the longest living, I think he was one of the first fish I added in here that actually sur has survived this long. Um, lost the blue tanged ick, which was devastating. I love that fish, but I mean, she was in quarantine and everything, and it was just, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to get another one, unless... This tank is like three years old and is like running perfectly in a quarantiner for two months. But it was pretty devastating, but life sucks. So <laughs> getting on with it. Um, I have my nuclear green Nephthia from upstairs down here. I don't know why this camera doesn't like to focus. I will be purchasing a new camera soon actually just a new iPhone one of the newer ones it has a better camera than this old iPod so nice big Kenya tree for my nano Melanaris is still doing good I got the two clowns still that's my rose bubble from the nano apparently the anemone crab likes it now so <clears throat> bicolor blenny from the nano getting along okay with the Midas Blenny. I've seen them fight occasionally, but it's nothing like fins ripped and stuff. The first day there was big fighting, but they seem to get along pretty nice. They don't, like, bother each other whenever. Like, this Midas sleeps in a hole right there, and the bicolor sleeps on the other side. Then I'll show you in a minute. In a minute, but, uh, here is some of my... This is nuclear green bird's nest, and it's, mo it's, actual, it's mother colony it came from. came from ORA, so that's pretty cool. Aquaculture, I'm trying to get a better shot of it. It's got flowy green, like little circular green polyps that look kind of fluffy. And then there's the toadstool from upstairs, and then that's the hammer coral from upstairs. And this is pink digitata. So that's new, pretty cool. Just, you know, tiny little frag. So, uh, that looks, uh, I think that's it on this side. For f Oh yeah, Blue Throat Trigger, she's still doing great. 
eats like a pig. I think she's grown since I first got her, but uh, she's doing real well. I'm actually still looking into getting her the mail. I just gotta wait till they get one in. And uh, all the tangs have a tiny little bit of ick, and the trigger has some too, but they all eat great, and it's going away. Definitely yesterday was worse than today, so um, MP10 still doing good. Let's see. Melanaris, Gobi, and the two clowns and all the blennies have not had ick yet. Um, if I can find the new fish. Uh, some of you guys guessed it. There's the bicolor blennies hole. I told you guys I'd show you that. The barnacles are over here now. They love it. So, um, uh, you guys guessed the new addition. Green Mandarin... Notre Dame fan 268 and Lax player. Both of you guys, shout out. You guys are very good. Uh, I've had you guys commenting on a lot of stuff. Here she comes. I'm trying not to scare. I'm going to move slow. There's her head. Or it's actually a male. But uh, I'm used to having female mandarins. She's doing real well. Uh, no problems with her, and my amphipod population, and, you know, all those little guys are crazy, so she's just, you know, been chilling out, eating her stuff. Uh, here's that nuclear green bird nest, now you can truly see the colors on it. So, um, there's the female, trying to get the male. Um, everything else seems to be... I think that's it up here, to be honest. Uh, I got my zoanthids right here. They're not open because I just glued them right there, so... That's going to be it for fish right now, I guess. I'll give you guys my next guessing game in a minute, so we'll go down to the sump. Uh, still running the protein skimmer, UV. Not running the, uh, uh, the uh, GFO right now. I'm uh, running the UV... The UV and the the uh, GFO reactor were on the same pump, but right now I just have the. Uh, I'll lift this up. See how fast that's going. That's how fast the UV going is. Usually it's just a pretty slow stream. So um, the pump also used to be in the refugium right there. So now it's directly under the overflow which normally doesn't have that many bubbles I took the sock off because I need to clean it and I just can't do that tonight and it's overflowing from the sock so it's oxygenating the water why not um, another new addition that I didn't think that was gonna happen but this is the oscillaris from upstairs in the nano cube and I have a new little baby oscillaris here that he is pairing up with. And there's the emerald crab. I'm gonna get taken back to the store because he's a butt. Um, we also got some amphipods right here. See them moving? They're, uh, I'm trying to get them to move. There they are. You see them moving. I have a crappy camera. They're uh, in between some acrylic and the glass, so that's kind of interesting. Like a little colony of them. There's actually little ones in there, too. Those are just the three biggest. Um, but as of right now, the nano cube's being redone, and I was tired of the clownfish being all alone and lonely, and that nano cube's pretty much crap right now. It just looks like crap. Water parameters are crap. This one has zero nitrates and zero phosphate. And I'm sure that nanocube is way far from that. So I put them down here so that they do better. And actually, I acclimated that baby clown to the nanocube first because I was going to add the bigger one back up there too. And that baby clown lost pretty much all his color and went to the bottom and started, you know, hiding in a rock. So I took him out, threw him down here, and he didn't lose any of his color or anything. He's, and he's paired up nicely with the other one, so that's good. 
everything's good. That uh, seems to be it. Really, on the tank, I've started dosing calcium chloride. Looks like cocaine or something, but yeah. Hope I don't get pulled over taking some of that home from the store. I got some Ecotech glue. That's what I glue my stuff with. Um, that's really it. So, my next fish is a... Let's see what how I could get you guys to guess this. All right, it's a uh, it's a with caution. It's a fish on the fringe, as some people call it. It's a with caution fish, not usually considered to be reef safe because it may pick at polyps. It's good at eating aptasia, and it has stripes. And the species of fish that it is is a starts with a B. The letter B. So I will just let you guys guess that. So I mean, I don't know if you any of you will get it, but if you do, you get mentioned. So make sure you check out Lax Player and Notre Dame Fan. Make sure you check out their channel. They know their fish. So I will uh, see you guys later. Stay tuned. Maybe even some updates on the nano cube soon because I need to redo it. And I will uh, see you guys later. Peace out.